All right, everybody, welcome to the Studying Brew, episode 967 on this beautiful Wednesday evening. We skipped the night, and it uh, kind of throws me off a little bit. We were glad that we are back. My name is Andy. I am the guy that runs the back office over here. I like to run the DJ booth as well, but you're not here for none of that. You're here for Brandy. She's got her Series 6, 63, 26, Series 65, and her Series 7, which makes her more than qualified to teach you all the things you need to know, so that way you two could get a pass notice because you know what? It's more than just content. It's more than just content. It's more than just reading the book. It's learning how to apply the knowledge. Guys, there's so many study preps out there, and all they do is they just feed you, feed you, feed you, feed you content. But guess what's not happening? You're not learning how to break down those questions. You go to those questions, and guess how confusing are they? A lot, right? You're like, what? I feel like I've been studying, like, I don't know how many hours, and I don't understand what they're even asking here. I don't know if this is an options question. I don't know if this is a... Uh, what, what's another one, Brandy? Uh, bonds. I don't know. There's a bonds question. I don't know. If the, I don't know what they're talking about with contracts. I don't know why they said accept, no accept. Why they just say accept, no accept, Brandy? We don't know. Why, why do they write it like that? I don't. I don't know. Who talks like that? No one. No one. Except people want to, you know, make sure that you don't get the answer. We know. We know. You heard me read off Brandy's all her licenses, guys. There's no other way that I could think of or any other uh, other people that teach you how to do this. And we're going to do this tonight. We're going to pick up where we usually do on Tuesdays. We're going to do it on Wednesday. Someone called it uh, wise Wednesdays or wisdom Wednesday. It's usually our test taking techniques Tuesday, but we're going to do it on wise Wednesday or wisdom Wednesday. We're going to show you how to break down those questions. We're going to show you how to do that. Shout out to Joanna, by the way, that was her, uh, that was her title. Joanna's awesome. Uh, but uh, we're going to show you how to break this thing down. And if you're brand new to this and you're like, man, I haven't even started yet. I haven't even begun to crack a book. No books have been cracked. No, 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 uh, no quizzes have been taken. No classes, no sessions, no nothing. Do you think I can learn this tonight? Heck yeah. Because you know why? why? Because the, the questions that Brandy picks tonight you don't need security drill. Mm -mm. I don't even know what she picked, but she likes to she likes to demonstrate. And by the way, if you think she cherry picks these questions, one, you're wrong. Two, she has ADD. She ain't got time for that. I'm just letting you know right now. She's the same person who can't sit through the the song Freebird by Leonard Skinner, who says it's way too long because of all the solos, has no time to go through a hundred question quiz to go find the perfect questions for you every night. Not gonna happen. It's the first six that she comes up with sees. It's the ones that she's going to put out. She might skip over ones that are stupid that, you know, that you don't need to know. They're broke, you know, like as far as like, you know, those. Uh, Which is true of one thing, but not true of another. And I'm going to confuse. You. Yeah. So we're going to, we, 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 she very rarely skips any, by the way. I'm just going to let you know. I don't even know what she does, but I'm just telling you that just doesn't happen. So we're going to break it down. We're going to show you how to get through these questions without knowing content or very little just to prove a point you don't need to go read a 489 page book co uh, cover to cover to pass these exams you don't have to go through a six week long you know study program and go through the book three times write it once guys these are actual things that we've heard that other study preps do or sit through 82 hour weekend of learning this stuff after you've already gone through the 489 pages and then go pass a pre dude we don't do that here because it's not about mastering q banks it's about how you view these questions it's about how you observe them it's about finding the patterns it's about finding the key words and if you haven't been with us guess what it's a great night because it, we are going to show you that if you like to see how we look for those key words show we show up on mondays we do that um, but we were off last night, so we're going to pick up where we normally do. And um, we want to say thank you to everybody that uh, gave us the night off, all those members. guys. By the way, this is free only because we have members, and we cannot do stuff without, you know, the support of the Kona family. We cannot do this. Like, this is what we do all day long. This is why we get people to pass. So if you would like to contribute, if you'd like to get onto a program, if you would like to learn more than just content, if you would like to not have to read a 489 page book, instead read a hundred page book. If you would like to have a guided program that walks you through the information 
Tuesday through Friday, 9.30 a.m. to 11 on uh, the West Coast. Guys, we got that. We got that in the academy. We got the 21 day plan. If you ain't got no time for that, you're a study, you know, you have to study it late at night. You got a baby on your lap. You got stuff happening all the time, right? Right. I only said baby on the lap because I see we got a baby on the lap. We keep this a G rated show. No worries. So this is uh this is what you got to do. You got to do a 21 day program because you never know when that baby's gonna need you. That's true. Randy got all her licenses, guys, when our kids were toddlers or just right at that kinder age. So if you're like, ah, oh, I can't because my hands are full. I got babies in the house. We did it with it. We did it with it. You're not speaking any challenges that haven't been done. You're not speaking any challenges that haven't been done. If you're thinking, oh, I can't do this because I'm older and I'm 71 years old. Guess what? You ain't 85 because that's our oldest passer. That's our oldest passer, 85 years old. So if you're 88, I might listen, but if you're not, I don't want to hear it. I'm just saying it can be done. It's all about your will to do it mm -hmm. um, and making it happen. So if you'd like to join that, scan the QR code, hit the links. We got the Academy, the 21 day program, study guides available, Kona community, the discord guys. I know someone told me they were like, I'm going to go study alone. Why? We have a community study with the family, study with the community. It's free to join. They were our, probably doing a quiz tonight. I didn't check on the Discord, but usually there's a whole study group that happens nightly. I don't know their schedule. You have to jump on the Discord. You have to be that, you know, you have to introduce yourself. You have to do that thing. Well, what's that thing called? Connect. And communicate. Oh, yeah. That one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, can't, I can't do everything, but we have a place where you can do that and you can uh, see people and uh, guys, it's awesome. Um, if you have not started the day, if you were like, I'm waiting for the, the 20, <laughs> I'm waiting for the Kone Academy to start. I'm waiting for the first day, day one of the sessions. It happened on Tuesday, yesterday. That yeah. was day one. Today was day two. And you're like, oh, snap, I missed it. Can I catch up? Yes, yes. you can. Yes, you can. It's, you're not even, if you start on, uh, if you get on there and you sign up on Thursday or Friday, Guess what? This weekend, I'm going to have a whole way for you to catch up in about four hours. And we don't even start new content till next Tuesday. So you got three days to catch up. No problem at all. Easy peasy. Nice and easy. Because you can just get through that, catch up, be right on it, and be on Tuesday. And you just get right into the whole thing. Well, actually, be on Monday. Ask Randy questions in the exam mastery session. Boom, be on Tuesday, get more content, ask Randy more questions. Because every day you can ask questions. Every day you can get connected. So you never have to study alone with Kona. You're, we're always just a text away, a message away, a class away, whatever you need. So 951-290-3077. And if you want to get started right now, scan the QR code, hit the links, join up, just be a member pick an option, get in there. I'm going to say this though. I'm going to break it down. I normally don't do this. We have two options, $50 and a hundred dollars. And some people are like, do I have to buy the book if I'm in the 50? Yes, because we made it $50 because it's discounted. So people who didn't want our book, they can do the program without having to buy our book. And then you, boom, you got a discount for 50 bucks. If you want our book, you want everything. You don't want to buy the book. You want the book to come with your program, whether it's the 21 day, the Academy, the hundred dollar program comes with a book and uh, tutoring twice a week and you can downgrade it anytime mm -hmm. and you get SIE six, six and 63 all included. Now the 26, you get all that for that price of some people's weekend content dumps. Anyways. All right. That's how that works. All right. We got the Academy happening tomorrow. We got the 65ers meeting up. We got small group tutoring. Those are the sessions. Make sure to uh, be registered for the next small group tutoring. It's already past the 24 hour period. So uh, if you have not registered, you're not gonna be in that session tomorrow, but make sure um, if you if you want to be, you gotta text me tomorrow morning and see if we, we have openings and I'll let you know. Uh, not Nothing guaranteed, but sometimes I have an opening or someone drops out. And by the way, if you are registered and you just, and you were like, hey, I can't make it. Like something came up, right? Things happen, guess what? Message me, 
I'll, I'll take you off the list and I'll put somebody in. You know what I mean? You're like, okay, I can't make it. And I'm on boom. Shelly, you're in. Tim, you're in. Someone, someone had to drop out. No big deal. Thank, thank you for telling me. Now someone else can take advantage of your spot. But uh, yeah, so even though you might not be able to be in there, you know, uh, you might not be able to register, still hit me up on that phone number and uh, let me know that you're interested and I'll see what I can do. All right. Um, what else we got? That's it. Let's get into it, Brandy. Let's go. All right. We got rules of test taking techniques. We got rules of test taking technique nights. Yeah. You know why? Because we got to have them. I'm going to tell you right now, rule number one is you're not allowed to ask what exam did that question come from? Too many times people get caught up. They get caught up in what exam did that come from? The SIE exam, y'all, if you don't know about this on the SIE, it has series six questions. It has 63 questions. It has series 26 questions. It has series 65 questions in it. It has series seven questions in it. It has a series 66 question in there, I'm sure. It doesn't matter. The SIE covers everything. So you're in luck, no matter what we throw up on the screen. So if you're studying the SIE, you're like, oh, these are like advanced. Don't have that in your mind. They're not. Watch how Brandy breaks them down. Look how she answers, looks at the answers first, question second. Get that skill set down. Do not skip over that step. I know that, you know, looking at question and then answer is so elementary. It is so, you know, traditional. It's what we're used to, right? It's what we're used to. Sometimes we got to stop doing what we're used to so we can get to levels that we haven't been to. So get uncomfortable, try it out. It helps you read the questions with intent. Do that. Also, Watch for the patterns, look for the key words, look for all the different things that we do only on Kona. And then guys, how do we get good at anything? Rule number two, we practice. We want you to do a 10 question uh, flash quiz. What does that mean? 10 questions, 10 minutes, one minute of thought. Did he say one minute? Yes, one minute. And if you've seen Brandy do this live, you know she gives about six seconds worth of thought, right? Yeah. Eight seconds worth of thought. Uh -huh. Doesn't matter what QBank it is. It doesn't matter what, what it is. Same thing all the time. Boom. It's a strategy. It's a technique. It's a way, a tactic to break down multiple choice exams, any multiple choice exams. Shout out to all the people that were on our last workshop on Saturday. They saw that. They saw that. And we teach this to our high school kids, by the way. So it doesn't matter. So, all right, let's go with it, Brandy. All right. <laughs> all right, guys. So um, I'm going to do something a little bit different. Um, it's going to make y'all uncomfortable because I'm actually going to read it like I look at it instead of read it like you're supposed to, right? So I read an investment that permits, an investment that allows, an investment that exempts, an investment that allows. Well, let's be real. Permits and allows, same thing. So permits, allows, allows, all the same, okay? Then I'm like, okay, well, maybe there's a pattern, maybe there's not. But what I do see is gains and losses. I see only losses. And then I see only income. Well, we have this little saying here. This little saying here. Then when we see only. Yeah, not true. It's usually not true. Not true. Right? Only. Very few things are definitive, right? right. Very few things, right? Only, never, always. Right. The other thing that I'm noticing is that this has an and. Love a good and. You yes. know why? Why? Can't get Brandy and Andy without an and. That that is that is true. That is true. Not just because it's Brandy and Andy. Anyways. All right. Question. Uh, which of the following is the best description of a partnership? I don't know about you, but a partnership is like a business. So I'm gonna get gains and losses. Like I said, you can't have a partnership <laughs> without an and. Andy and Brandy. Partnership okay. right there. All right. That's Easy it. way to remember it too. Yeah. If you guys notice, I didn't even look at the end. You didn't even look at the end. No, I didn't even look at the last. Didn't even look at the beginning of that sentence either. The question, right? No, not really. No, because we saw limited following? partnership and that was it. And, and here's the thing. When I see all of the following, which is the following, I say that as one word. Like it looks like one word instead of four, which is the following. Like and that. it's two and you have an and. Yeah. That's it. Done deal. There you go. All right. Wants MES. Stock, bearish, bullish, 
bearish, but bullish. Okay, before you break this down, now this appears to me to be more content. This it appears does. so contenty, Brandy. And you told me I don't need to know content to get this. How'd you do this without content? So I'm like this. Um, how could you be a bear and a bull at the same time? So Can't. no. Um, I don't know anybody who wants that. So no. I don't know anybody who wants oh, to remain fixed. Yeah. And when we're studying, when for you security, invent, do you want fixed? Do you want to like have no gains? Right? Right. No. Right. And and the other thing is, is that especially like in studying, we don't really, right? And then the other thing I'm looking at is the fact that um, this starts with bearish, that starts with bearish. Nice. Okay, so that's it. So these two are kind of opposite. This one doesn't make sense anyways. The answer is B, but let's confirm. Um, I don't even know what a put option is. So I'm just going to go ahead and click it and I'm right. I don't know what bearish means. I don't know what put means. Of course we do, by the way. Uh, but... That's how you get that without knowing any content. Right. And actually, for those of you who hate options, just look at that. Oops. You look at that. You look at that. You memorize how we say it. Done deal. Because actually, I really do know what this means. Yes, we do. And if you want to know how she knows how that means, then join in. You got to get on the membership. Yeah. Scan the QR code. Hit the links. Boom. Boom. And I guess that wasn't really opposite. That was more the similar, but yeah, I, I'm so used to saying it. All right, debentures are like dentures. What the heck is a debenture? Collateral trust, equipment trust, mortgage bonds. Um, man, I know what mortgages are. It has to do with a house. That's true. I know what equipment is. Right. I see collateral. I've been to a pawn shop. Right. Debentures, though. Eh. That sounds like dentures. Right. That's the one that doesn't match for me. Uh, a bank trustee holds the titles to assets. Now look at, look at, look at, look at. We can say that because they're calling it an asset, not a real estate or a mortgage, we can probably cross that off. Right. I don't know what a debenture is. Right. Um, assets of a corporation purchase and utilizes, utilizes in a day-to-day -day business. That doesn't sound like collateral. That's what do you too... use in a day-to-day -day business? That's what I would say. Well, yeah, because collateral is too generic and day-to-day -day business, like utilizing in a day-to-day -day business is very specific. So you're out, you're in, boom. Done. I would have saw a like day-to-day -day business. What do I use day-to-day -day business equipment? I can't do business without my equipment. Right. Period. Mm -hmm. That's it. Look at that. No security of knowledge. Again, don't need to read the book. No. All right. So I have 35, 35, 40, 35. 40 is obviously the odd one out or even um, one out. I see sell, enter, enter, enter. Um, there's a call. It's like options. And then I have a sell short, sell long, and then a buy stop. Right. Dude, I don't even know. I don't even know. Right. I, like I can't make anything of this. And look, if you don't know any securities, look, guys. She just circled stuff that are alike, right? Mm-hmm. That's all. Yeah. Don't trip. Yeah. That's it. It's just circling. Um, okay. Uh Irksome Inc., a technology company, has share selling at forty dollars. There's a forty in the in the answers. Uh your customer is bearish. Okay, whatever that means. He'd like to sell the stock short. Wait, hold on. Um, sell short, sell the stock short. I'm just gonna go ahead and just pick that because I don't know what any of this else all it just pick it. And I'm going to take it out of securities. If you sell something short of what you paid for, isn't that like a lesser than $40? I'm just saying. That's how I would have seen it. I don't know if that equivalates, but I'm just saying if I would have saw 40 and it says sell something short of, I would be like, oh, well, I didn't make my 40 back. That's all I'm saying. And that's probably why I would have picked that. Not because it says sell stock short. I would have saw that too, but that would have done it for me. I would have said, okay, $35 is less than 40, sell short, sell short. Okay, that's it. I don't know anything else. That's it. And I'm not, hey, I'm not a teacher of securities. I'm just saying that's how it makes sense in my rudimentary brain. Okay. I mean, you're, you're not wrong. I'm just saying I wouldn't even put the numbers in there. Yeah. No, I'm just saying that's how I would have reasoned it. All right. Cool. Hey, it doesn't matter how you get the answer right. Yep. With? At the money, at par, in the money, these two are similar. Yes? Yeah. 
Um, I see blah, 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 55, 55. I don't know about you, but 55 equal to 55 seems like I'm at. I know somebody is probably going to say, and this is contenty. No, but it's not. How is it content? I'm just going to say this. Why would it not be at par? Because that wasn't even in the techniques. There you go. And if you really want to know, intrinsic value, par, and in the money are all going to go together. B was the only one different if you know the content. So if you know the content, B is standalone anyways. But I wasn't even going to go there because that's too much thinking. There you go. I just saw at the money, in the money. It was different, similar, whatever. Boom. That's it. I'm not going to think anymore. No more thinking. I'm tired. Yeah, and if you get out, if you get Andy on that study group, you hear me. Yeah. Stop thinking, click it. Exactly. Stop thinking, click it. Why are we talking? Why are we even reading anymore? The Depository Trust Company. Deposits. FINRA's acronyms. The member firm. The registered person. So we got a person. Yeah. That's a little different. Depository, FINRA, firm, person. Yeah. Um, when a registered person terminates, look at, so look, check this out. I wish I could do the word match game because I got a registered person, registered person. Um, I got a FINRA. I got FINRA. I got a firm. I got a firm. And where the heck does the depository trust company come into play? Like, right. Does it, like what? Doesn't even go in there. Right. So that doesn't work on this question. So you have to read the question just a little bit. And it says, filing the U5 is a responsibility. I'm sorry, but if somebody got terminated, are we going to rely on them to have any responsibility if they got terminated? Let me put it another way. If you got fired, do you think you're going to go make sure you fill out the pop proper forms to of your firing? No. no. There's no, no responsibility no. once you're terminated. No. Give me my box. I'm going to my car. That's about it. You know what I mean? That's it. Yep, that's it. I might steal your stapler on the way out. Just saying. I said might. I didn't say I did it. But that's it, right? I'm not filing paperwork for you. I no. will do that over there. No. I haven't seen him do work any, since I've been here. That guy can do that. I'm not doing that. He's going to give me a coffee. Go find a place to put my U4 in. See what I did there? Because you got to go put your U4 in somewhere new, right? If you want a new job. There you go. <laughs> All right, everybody. Thank you so much for being here. Hey, look, I know we make jokes. I know we make it easy. I know we make it look easy. And I know some of you are all, I wish it was that easy for me. Well, stop wishing. It can be. You got to just put the practice in. You got to practice. How can you get good at anything unless you don't practice, right? Even walking. Did you not fall a million times? If you have a baby, don't they fall all the time? Aren't they rolling over all the time? They don't just, they just don't, you know, hop into your life and start walking around. That'd be weird, right? That'd be really weird. If you show me a baby, it just walks right out, right? That'd be crazy. I'd be like, that's alien. Like that's some, that's some terrestrial stuff. Painful. Yeah. And that's painful. <laughs> like what the heck? Anyways, guys, we got to, we got to have falls. We have to fall. We have to have failures. We have to have wrong questions. We have to have things that we are not good at so we can get good at them. We have to be challenged so that way we can learn. If you don't get challenged, you don't learn. If you don't learn, then you're not going to excel. You're not going to advance to the next. So don't get discouraged. Don't be, you know, be like, oh, it didn't work for me. I did the same thing and I got the, the. Guys, that's not how it works. As we do in our system and our program, if you don't know, we got ways to teach you guys with the why wrongs, why rights. We have exam masteries. That's why they're so important on Mondays and Fridays. Brandy works that with you so you can bring that to her attention. She can help you with it. Or if on the Discord, other people can help you out. Guys, you never have to study alone. Get onto the program. And most importantly, this is the most important thing that you guys all need to know and learn. Keep your positive mental attitude. Keep your positive mental attitude. Keep that PMA. You got to keep that PMA. If you don't have that positive mental attitude, everything will always be imp impossible. Keep that positive mental attitude and just realize this is just part of the journey. It's part of the struggle. It's part of the just what you're supposed to do. It doesn't matter how long it takes you. It doesn't matter if you're the quickest or the longest. It doesn't matter as long as you get to the destination, right? It doesn't matter. 
Just keep one foot in front of the other, one step at a time. Don't get overwhelmed. Stick to the program and just have faith in the process. All right, everybody, we'll be back tomorrow day for all the member sessions. We'll be back for the study and brew tomorrow night. Same bat time, same bat channel. But until then, stay safe out there. Watch your hands. I'll touch your face. I'll touch your face. That's all I know. Keep that positive mental attitude. PMA, everybody. Have a good night. Thank you guys so much for being on. We super, super appreciate you. Practice these techniques in your quizzes. We will see you guys tomorrow. Have a great one.